The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths, in particular, Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Robbing in Texas is this hour's top news story. An informant led officers of the Muerto County Sheriff's Department to a cemetery just outside the small rural Texas community of Newt early this morning. Officers there discovered what appeared to be a grisly work of art, the remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts, and it's feared more will turn up as the probe continues. Deputies report that in some instances, only parts of a corpse had been removed. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed, the remainder of the corpse left intact. Evidence indicates the robberies have occurred over a period of time. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado refused to give details in the ghoulish case and said only that he did have strong evidence linking the crime to elements outside the state. Area residents have reportedly converged on the cemetery, fearing the remains of relatives have been removed. No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues. Oil storage units continue to burn out of control at the huge Texaco refinery near the Texas-Louisiana border. Three storage units exploded into flames during the night, killing at least three workers and injuring a dozen more. Firefighting units from three Texas cities continue to battle the Holocaust in an effort to confine 40-foot flames. The smoke from the fire is visible to Houston residents some 60 miles to the south. Health officials in San Francisco reluctantly admit they may have a cholera epidemic on their hands. Some 40 cases of a highly infectious disease have been confirmed. It's believed that emergency has thus far ruled that authorities is responsible for the spread of the disease. Houston police are puzzled over an outbreak of violence apparently touched off by a suicide. A young man, reportedly angered by a local television blackout of a sports event, jumped from the 10th story window of his apartment. A second man, allegedly threatened to leap to his death from the same window, but was restrained by police. Witnesses to the incident reportedly urged the man to jump and responded to the arrival of emergency vehicles. explanation for the attack. The attendant was treated for minor wounds at Bentop Hospital and released. A 16-story building under construction in downtown Atlanta collapsed today, killing at least 29 persons. The engineering firm responsible for the structural design of the building could offer no explanation for the collapse. The construction firm say there's no logical reason for the collapse and suspect sabotage. Police and 
Gary, Indiana, have been unable to identify the bodies of a young man and woman. The condition of retrogradation is contrary or inharmonious to the regular direction of actual movement in the zodiac and is in that respect evil. Hence, when malefic planets are in retrograde and Saturn's malefic, okay, their malefice is increased. Have you been doing those Reader's Digest word power columns again? Gary, it just means Saturn's a bad influence. It's just particularly a bad influence now because it's in retrograde. Hey, man, you believe all that stuff your old lady's hawking me? I don't know. My granddaddy's buried here. Can we find out if anything happened to him? What's your granddaddy's name? Honey, that big, heavy feller's a stand with that flashlight in his hand. That's the sheriff. You go tell him your granddaddy's buried in there. Okay. He'll let you in. Thank you. Say, fella, I'm gonna run off with the girl a minute. You don't mind, do you? Hey, Honey, I'll get you to the sheriff. Come on. Hey, folks, let us through here. This girl's granddaddy's buried here. Been in there the whole time, unbeknownst. Slide, slide, didn't go in and didn't know why. Ah, things happen here about, they don't tell about. <laughs> I see things. <laughs> you see, they say it's just an old man talking. You laugh at an old man. <laughs> There's them that laughs and knows better. Sure, the man said they could tell if the grave had been dug up. Franklin, don't worry. I saw it myself. He didn't look dug up to me. <laughs> What's that? What smells? <coughs> what is that stench? <laughs> Roll up the window. <laughs> hey, that's the old slaughterhouse. That's where Grandpa used to sell his cattle. Hey, we got an uncle that works at one of those places outside of Fort Worth. <laughs> hey, you see those buildings there? That's where they kill them. They bash them in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, well, that's awful. It usually wouldn't kill them on the first lick. squealing and freaking out and everything and then have to come up and bash them two or three times and then sometimes it wouldn't kill them i mean they'd skin them sometimes even before they were even oh, dead oh that's horrible yeah. people shouldn't kill animals for food oh, well they don't do it like that anymore now they got this big air gun that shoots a bolt into their skull and then retracts it it's just boom it goes boom and Franklin, boom, i like me please boom, change the subject boom, yeah, that's don't... terrible it's still going that's on Oh, it's hot, ain't it? 